All right. So in this video, I'm going to go over a question from um, our quiz six. Okay. And this question is about uh, calculating the pH of a solution. Okay. Now, it could be an acid, it could be a base, and then we need to use the, the given information to decide that. Now, here are the options we have. Um, when it comes to um, when, when it comes to an acid, okay, an acid can be uh, can be strong or weak. If it's a strong acid, then H3O plus concentration is equal to the initial concentration of the acid. If it is a weak um, acid, then the H3O plus concentration is equal to the initial concentration of the acid times Ka, and you take the square root of that. And then if you're dealing with the bases, okay, base can be strong. If it is a strong base, we're dealing with the OH minus concentration, it should be equal to the initial concentration of the base. If it is a weak base, then um, the OH minus concentration should be equal to C naught times KB square root of that. Okay, so those are the only uh, only four relationships we need to uh, if we have it. I mean, we, we need to consider when it comes to deciding. Um, the pH or is real plus or OH minus concentration of a given acid or base solution. Uh, now let's consider this situation where you are given the pKb of a base, of course, to be 3.8, and then the initial concentration to be 0 0.02 molar okay now if that is the case we know that we are given a base more specifically a weak base therefore we need to go to this relationship we are given a weak base therefore we'll be using this relationship and then according to that relationship our which minus concentration is um, C naught times KB, the square root of that, okay? So what we're gonna do is we're gonna write initial concentration, which is two times 10 to the power of minus two times KB, which is, um, we know the KB is 10 to the power of minus PKB, which should be 3.8. And that means 10 times, 10 to the power of minus 3.8. And then we take the square root of this, okay? And if we take the square root of this, this is gonna come out to be um, uh, two times 10 to the power of minus 5.8, square root of that. And that should be 1.414 times 10 to the power of minus 2.9 molar. And this is the OH minus concentration. What, what, what we need is, um, the pH now, that means we need this real plus, right? Or what we can do is we can calculate the pOH first. pOH is minus log uh, OH minus concentration, which is minus log 1.414 times 10 to the power of minus 2.9. Okay, and it's going to come out to be. Um, 2.75, about 2.75. Now we know that pH plus pOH is equal to 14. Therefore, pH must be equal to 14 minus pOH, which is 2.75. And then that is going to be 11 11.25. 11.25. And that should be the pH of this solution. 
okay and and the other thing i want to point out is let me see if i can add uh, more pages okay new whiteboard let me take a new whiteboard okay the other equation that will be that we will have to use um to do some calculations is the henderson hasselbach equation just to remind you and this muscle back equation is uh, pH is equal to pKa plus log conjugate conjugate base concentration divided by uh, the weak acid concentration. Okay. And then when do we use it? Okay, we use this in um actually mainly two possible situations when we are dealing with the dominant species and also when we are dealing with the buffer solutions okay so when it comes to dominant species okay the dominant dominant species okay the idea is we can rearrange the equation to show that um let's just do that okay log a minus concentration over h a concentration is equal to ph minus pka now for a minus concentration over h a concentration is equal to 10 to the power of 10 to the power of ph minus pka okay so what this tells us is if i'm a ph use a different color if our ph is greater than the pka okay then this is going to be a positive value that means you're going to have more of the conjugate base than um than than the weak acid so i'm going to put that in writing now okay if pH is greater than the pKa, then the base is dominant. And on the other hand, if the pH is less than the pKa, okay, and that means this value pH minus pKa, uh, pKa will be a negative value. If pH is less than the pKa, pH minus pKa will be a negative value, meaning you have a greater value in the denominator compared to the uh, uh, compared to the numerator. That means you have more of H A than A minus. Okay, so if pH is less than the pKa, then the acid form is dominant. Okay, and that's how we use this uh, equation, um, henderson hasselbach equation, to determine the dominant species. And then on the other hand, um, we also use this equation in determining some doing some calculations in with the buffer solutions. Okay. Um, again, we can do we can use this in numerous ways. Okay. One way is to determine uh, the ratio between the conjugate base and the acid. Um, if you want to have a certain pH, okay, for an example. Uh, say that the pKa of an acid is uh, weak acid is um, 4.0. Okay, and um, and then if you want to set the pH to say that you want to set the pH to um, let's say uh, 5.0. Okay, hypothetically. Okay, uh, then what we can do is we can calculate the ratio between A minus and HA if we have a buffer solution like this. Okay, so again, the pH is equal to pKa plus log A minus concentration over HA concentration. And then we know the pH is 5.0 pKa is 4.0, and then we can calculate the log 
a minus over h a and that should be log a minus over h a must be equal to uh, 5 minus 4 which is 1.0 okay now for a minus over h a must be equal to 10 to the power of 1.0 which is which is 10 okay that means uh, for every every 10 molecules of a minus we have uh, one molecule of h a so the dominant species is the conjugate base okay that is it makes sense because when the ph5 is greater than the pka when the ph is greater than the pka the base is dominant so that's what we just discovered here rediscovered here and then the other thing we can do is um if we know the concentrations of a minus and h a see if i can have it here if we know the pka is 4.0 and then let's say the a minus concentration is 0.6 and then um then uh, HA concentration is point, let's say uh, 0.75, okay, something like that. And then we can calculate the pH of this buffer. If a certain buffer has a conjugate base concentration of 0.6 molar, and then uh, HA concentration of 0.75 molar, what is the pH of this buffer? And again, we go back to the henderson hasselbalch equation. pH is equal to pKa plus log um, log A minus concentration over HA concentration. Okay, and then we can substitute the value. Substitute the values now. pKa is what we know plus log a minus concentration is 0.6, and then the HA concentration is 0.75. Okay, and this is going to be equal to 4.0 plus log. Let me see. Um, log point. Six divided by point seven five is minus actually. It's a minus value. Okay, makes sense. Negative zero point zero nine seven. Okay, and then this is gonna be um almost. I would say 3.9, about 3.9, okay? The pH of this buffer solution must be around 3.9. Yeah, so that's the other way of using this equation, using the henderson hasselbalch equation uh, with buffers. So, um, yeah, I think, I think that should take care of uh, all the calculations the calculation aspect with the uh, the Hasselbalch equation, and then if I can mention one other thing, let me see a new whiteboard. One other thing we can do with the Hasselbalch equation is uh, the percent species diagrams. Okay, that means if you have pH on the x-axis and the percent species on the uh, y-axis. Uh, this is zero percent, and then this is hundred percent. Okay, so let's say that we have a weak acid. Okay, so what is going to happen is initially we have a very uh, we have uh, when we have a very low pH, everything will be shifted towards the weak acid. Therefore, we're going to have hundred percent weak acid. Okay, so but with time. Uh, with, with when you increase the pH, uh, what happens is this H three um, H A concentration or the weak acid concentration goes down, and then it's gonna 
reach zero, almost zero at a certain uh, pH. And on the other hand, uh, when you add at very very low pH, the A minus or the conjugate base concentration will be very, very low or 0% at very low pHs. And with uh, when you increase the pH, this um, uh, the A minus percentage goes up. Okay. And then it's going to actually, it's going to go to 100% at very high pHs. So this is my conjugate base and then this is my uh, weak acid okay that's what we know now there's a very special point here and that's the point where uh, we have 50 percent a minus okay 50 percent a minus and um 50 percent h a okay so if I write the henderson hasselbach equation again, which is equal to pKa plus log A minus concentration over HA concentration, 50% uh, species means you have equal concentrations of A minus and HA, okay? That means A minus divided by HA is equal to one. And then therefore we have log of one here, log of one, goes to zero, log of one is zero, okay? Therefore, at the 50% point, we can see that the pH is gonna become equal to pKa, okay? Now, if we go back to our percent species graph, okay? Uh, the pH at, the pH at, uh, the 50% the mark is going to be equal to the pKa of the um, weak acid. Right? Again, this is coming from the henderson hasselbalch equation. I just want to point that out. All right. I think that should cover everything. I'll see you guys later in class. Bye, everybody. Have fun.